welcome to our another tutorial in this tutorial we will show you whatsapp integration with contact form 7 so basically if someone submits your contact form data it will be passed uh, to your to a whatsapp number or you can also pass the data to any other app uh, or similar websites so let's get started to start get started all you have to do first you need to install uh, our contact home 7 plugin called ultimate add-ons for contact home 7 so if you search contact home 7 you should find us somewhere here so once you install it will prompt you to activate contact home 7 we already installed that contact home 7 so we will now activate now in order to use the whatsapp integration or similar integration you need to download our uh, pro version plugin add-on called redirection pro so if you log into your customer portal you should be able to download it from there now let's install this uh, you also need to download the pro version of our plugin Now let's install both of these plugins. So once you're done installing, now you need to go to ultimate add-on settings and then you need to enable redirection. Now let's submit. Just confirming that we have all installed the redirection pro. Now let's create a form. So test form. Now let's submit it. Now here on the redirection part you need to enable redirection and then you need to redirect to external URL. So here what you have to do you need to insert the WhatsApp URL to pass the data. Let me show you how. So you need to um, first enable this tag support. You can make it open page in a new tab and then you will see we already added an example here uh, to pass the data so for example if you are passing to a customer website just per website URL and you need to add these tags alternatively if you want to send the data to whatsapp so here is what you have to do so this is the URL I will give it on the description and then you need to add your phone number where you want this data to go and then here I written a custom message if you want you can ignore this one and then we added these fields so these fields are for example these are the four fields on this form so let me remove this so I'm writing that this is a test message and this is the name field so email subject message okay so now let's save this form now let's add this publish this form on a page let's view this page so let's fill up this form so let's say it's John Cena so John Cena at gmail.com and this is a test URL test message sorry this should be this is a test subject now let's submit this form let's see how it goes So as you see our data has now passed to WhatsApp. 
and you will see all the information are here so you can separate these with custom um, same comma or semicolon and so if you if you now open our whatsapp we should be able to see the data so that's basically it uh, let me know in the comments if you have any question thank you